And we sourced this piece. Um, it took a bit of doing though, didn't it? It did. There's, there's always a story with finding music. I think sometimes people, including perhaps musicians, think that it just appears magically on their music stands. But sometimes it takes a long time when we get an idea, particularly Bobby, when she gets an idea in her head of what she would like uh, the orchestra to play. So um, I spent um, quite some time, a good month, researching where to get this music for this particular movie that we wanted to feature at our, our recent concert. And I looked at all the usual publishers that I use around Australia, through the United Kingdom, through the USA, around Europe, finding, trying to find someone who had published this particular um, work and found no one. And it, we were just about to give up, where through a very good contact of ours, we happened to uh, mention that we were after the, some of the soundtrack to the movie Love Actually. And uh, one of our arrangers that we've used for um, a few recordings at the ABC turned around and said, oh, I know the composer, Craig Armstrong, I'll ask him for you this week. And within a week, I had all the original music emailed to me uh, at my studio, and I was absolutely taken back because we are actually the only orchestra to ever perform it live around the world. So it's only ever been recorded at Abbey Road Studios, I think it was, for the actual movie, and uh, the composer just said, Percy of the Orchestra, please, be our first. So there are two numbers that we'll be performing from the movie, the beautiful Glasgow love theme, and then, of course, the very famous PM theme as well from the wonderful movie Love Actually.
would not be complete without ballet music. Have many of you been to see WA Ballet here? Good. I wanted that to be louder. Come on. You'd be... Yes, thank you. They are remarkable and I encourage you to go and see them. We have fabulous arts in this state. Um, one of our favourite versions of Romeo and Juliet, which is a a story that has been set by many, that many, many ballet composers to music is Prokofiev. It's um, a huge, powerful version of Prokofiev's Romeo and Juliet, as most Prokofiev is. And as you sit back and listen to this one, I do encourage you all to envisage the power of male dancers leaping across the stage and the beauty and grace of the ballerinas alongside them as they carve out the agony and love of the tragic story. Ladies and gentlemen, the coffee Romeo and Juliet. Thank you. 